Welcome to Chris Cook for you too. There's going to be a lot of favorite dishes that's going to be fixed during this holiday season. But one of the base items that you're going to have on your table, of course, is going to be your dressing. So today we're going to be making dressing stock. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to be making it this holiday season. Now, I know that we're going to have turkey and you can pull stock from your turkey. Some people will have chicken. You can pull stock from your chicken. But it's nothing like having duck dressing. Nothing like it. And the reason for that is because not only do you get good flavor from the duck, you're also going to get a lot of oils from the duck. And what makes your dressing so good and so you won't have it as dry as I don't know what would be the moisture that you're going to get from this duck and all of the oils that you're going to pick up in order for your dressing to be oh so good. Now this has been an old time favorite for a long time and it's okay to fix this particular item one to two months out because what you don't want to do is to get all caught up and then something's not done right. So when you're in the mood to go ahead and make your stock Go ahead and do it. And you don't need a lot of things to go out and buy because you probably have everything that you need to make dressing in your cabinets. But the two things that you will always need is going to be sage and poultry seasoning. So while you're out at the markets or at your favorite supermarket, make certain that you pick up your sage and your poultry seasoning if you're going to be making dressing. Now let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. We're only going to make stock today, but I want to make sure that this holiday is as special for you as it's going to be for me. So of course we're going to need the duck. I have a carrot here. I had these onions that were cut up and left in my refrigerator, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in the stock as well. But I am going to be using some yellow onions as well. I have some celery here, and I have some garlic. This is fresh garlic, and I'm going to use that because it's a lot more potent than your dried garlic would be or your minced garlic would be. But if you don't have it, go with your dried ingredients. It will be just as good. I'm going to throw in some fresh basil, some fresh oregano, some fresh sage, a couple of bay leaves, some rosemary. And over here, I do have my poultry seasoning, but poultry seasoning is made out of adding sage to it. I'm just going to make this a little bit more potent with adding the uh, poultry seasoning and the extra sage. I have, of course, my favorite all-time seasoning in the world, which is onion soup mix, and I have some salt. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and cut up all of these ingredients, and I'm even going to cut this duck up because I want some pieces of this duck to be streaming through my dressing. Now, I'm going to take this duck dressing I'm sorry, I'm going to take this broth and I'm going to use it at two holidays. I'm going to use half of it for my Thanksgiving Day holiday and then I'm going to make turkey again at Christmas time. Now normally I don't make turkey twice in a year that close together. But my family reunion is going to be held this Christmas and you're going to get a chance to meet my entire family on my tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and make this oh so special for them by going ahead and making duck dressing at two holidays. So you stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and cut up all of my ingredients. One ingredient, I did not mention it, so I'm going to mention it right now, is going to be the bell pepper. Now, normally, I do not put bell pepper in my dressing, but I'm going to do it now because this is my stock. If you don't have the tutorial where I showed you this, let me tell you about these little humps. See those three humps at the bottom of this? And you see four humps at the bottom of this green pepper. Well, this is a male green pepper with the three humps. This is a female green pepper with the four humps. The female green pepper is better when you're going to be using it in a salad. The male is stronger when you're going to be using it in some type of 
sauce that you may be making. But for this, we're going to use the female. And the reason why we want to use the female green pepper is because we don't want that dominant flavor. We want a hint of the green pepper, but we don't want that dominant flavor that will take over all of the other aromatics that we have in the pot. So let me go away, cut up all of this, including my duck, and I'm going to show you how to put together this delicious broth to make your dressing with once I come back. Stay tuned because this video you really don't want to miss. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I just want to show you this duck for those of you that are not familiar with it. This is the neck, uh, the heart, the gizzard, and the liver. Now, this is normally the part, even if you're taking it out of your chicken and you're taking it out of your turkey, that's normally the part that you're going to make your giblet gravy with. So you don't throw those away. Just make certain that you uh, boil them when you boil the rest of your meat and make certain that you have it to make your gravy with it. I already have one of the best gravies or uh, gib giblet gravy recipes online already. So you can go back and check that out and you can follow the instructions on that tutorial. Now I wanted to just show you this. See all of this skin? This skin is going to do nothing. See all of that? And see how, how much skin it is? It's going to do nothing but produce oils. And the oils that it's going to produce is going to be the best in the world to make your dressing with. Now, you don't have to do this. You can make a different type of dressing. But if you're going for the best dressing, then you're going to go for the duck dressing. Now, I'm going to cut this just like I would cut up a chicken. And you'll see it when you get me, meet me at the stove. But you have the wings. You have the breast part. The back is on the back side of uh, the duck. And then you have the legs, which you would cut them just like you're going to cut up a chicken. And if once this meat falls apart, I'm going to mix this, this meat into my dressing. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I just want to bring you back and show you all of the skin and the fat. And I'm not going to take anything off of it that actually comes on this. So when I get ready to go to the stove... I'll meet you there so we can start to make our delicious stock for our dressing for this Thanksgiving and Christmas. Be right back. Okay, now I'm at the stove. I'm going to put just a little bit of water in my pot because I already cut the heat on up underneath my pot. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in these pieces. This is the duck breast. I'm going to go ahead and put in the duck breast. I didn't cut it down the middle because there's no need. I'm just going to strip all of the meat off of that. I took the back and the skin to it because all of that is just going to be extra oils coming from it that would help me to have a really, really good dressing. Here's my legs and thighs together. And it's simple to cut up. You're going to cut that up just like you would cut up my wings are going in. Just like you would cut up your chicken. There's some more thigh. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, wing. Another wing. The neck. The gizzard. And the heart. And I must have dropped the liver down in there already. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to add all of my fresh seasonings and my garlic. And I use maybe about eight cloves of garlic. Then I'm going to go ahead and add, and I rough chopped my carrots, my onions, my celery, my bell pepper, all of those things that will make your, your dressing oh so good. If you don't have it, use what you have. Don't worry about it, but you're going to need some good stock, and you don't need to, I mean, you can use the chicken broth that you get from the store, 
but it's better if you just go ahead and make it yourself. It's so many things that you can do in advance until you don't have to wait until a holiday get here and then you so super tired from cooking all day on the holiday until you can't even enjoy your company or your, your guests. The only thing you can do is to go to sleep and half the time you go to sleep without dinner. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you a way to get all of this out of the way and you don't have to worry about it. When everybody else is having fun at Christmas time, so will you be having fun. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in, that was my poultry seasoning, my all-time favorite seasoning in the world, which is onion soup mix, and I had some salt that I put in there. And I'm going to taste this stock. After it gets done, I'm also going to show you how to, this is about four or five cups of water. I'm also going to show you how uh, the actual oil that comes from the, uh, from the duck, I'm going to show you that oil. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this off. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. I'll do it once I end this tutorial or once I end this segment on the tutorial. But um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take and strain all of my vegetables. So I'm going to keep the broth from it, but I'm not going to keep the vegetables. Now, what I may do is I may take these vegetables and grind them up super fine and take them and add them into my dressing. I don't know yet. I may do that, may not do it. But it's okay to do that because all of the vegetables that you put in here is something that can go into your dressing with the exception of the carrots. The carrots is the one thing that I don't put in there. But we're going to go ahead and get this party started early. So when everybody else gets ready to enjoy that day, you'll be able to enjoy that day too. Cakes you can cook in advance. Greens you can definitely cook them in advance. So all of those things that you can do in advance, do it. You're only going to make it light on yourself. And please, Please, if you all are going to have this, not chitterlings, it's chitlins. We all know what it is. If you're going to have that for your Christmas or your Thanksgiving Day dinner, make sure you don't get that red bucket. Because that red bucket, you will still be tired. If you do it two weeks prior to Thanksgiving, you're going to still be tired on Thanksgiving Day from cooking that red bucket chillings. Get you a good one. Aunt Bessie's is a good one. There's a lot of good ones out here. Pay that couple extra dollars and get you one where you can get through with cleaning them in 20, 30 minutes. And please, don't believe that hype. There is no pre-cleaned chitlins. I don't care what you do. You're going to have to clean your chitlins. So I'm going to bring you back. Uh, I'll probably bring you back let you see it halfway through. And then I'm going to bring you back at the end of it. I'm going to let this slow simmer for about three hours. And I'm telling you, I wish I could have you all all for dinner, Christmas, or Thanksgiving. Because I'm telling you, we're going to have an eating good time up in this house. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back and the uh, duck is done. But can you see the oil on top? That's what makes your dressing so, so good. So what I'm going to do so you can get a better look at it is I'm going to pour some in a bowl and let it sit. Because we're not going to use the carrots and all of the vegetables that are in here. We're not going to use that. So I'm going to pour some of this and then I'm going to let it sit and I'm going to bring it back. And I have a clear bowl so I can try and show you how much oil you actually get from this duck. So we're going to try to pour it. All right, now in a few minutes, I'm going to bring you back just before I close out this video. And I'm going to show you the amount of oil that will be separated from the broth. And these, all of the uh, aromatics and everything else that's over in here, all of our vegetables and stuff, that can either be thrown out or you can take it and blend it. Then you can add it to your dressing. But I'm going to pretty much throw it out. So I'll be right back and I'll show you that be right back okay now I'm back and here is the rich broth that I got from the duck now it's still very hot so I have to allow it to cool and here is 
some of the meat that I took from the duck and I just for pulled it off and I'm going to freeze it and I'm going to put it over in my dressing. I'll put half now and half later. But I want you to notice something about this broth. This is the broth. See, all the way up here. Then I want you to look at the top at all of that oil. Now, it has not completely separated because it's still very, very hot. But once all of the oils come to the top and they separate from the broth, this is what makes your dressing so good. That oil that you see right there, you cannot beat that when it comes to making dressing. So you're going to pour all of this into your dressing, but this is going to give you the richness that you need. And you haven't added everything that you're going to add into your cornbread yet. But this is on a very good start. Because you can look at the color of it and tell just how rich it actually is. Now, if you haven't started to making your cornbread, go ahead and start. Because you're going to need your cornbread. All you have to do is make it or whatever leftover cornbread you have, go ahead and freeze it. So that you will have this in order to make your dressing. Now, everybody's not going to make duck dressing. But for those of you that are... This is the way you do it. If you're going to be making chicken and dressing or turkey and dressing, you can do your all of your seasonings. You can put them together just like I did in a pot, but the only meat will change. You will be either using your turkey or parts, because that would be your neck, your heart, your gizzard, and your liver, or you can use your chicken and make your stock. But you always want good, rich stock, because that's what makes good, rich dressing. So we have a lot of recipes coming, hopefully before the holiday. Just wanted to bring you this because this is an important step if you're going to be making dressing, especially if you're trying to impress. That's what Chris has for you tonight. Chris is making duck stock for her very, very delicious this year dressing. This recipe... I, it's going to be online, but in my next cookbook, you're going to find it there. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for You Too. Bye.